quick tour of my factory here. Uh, it's uh, February 7, 2020, and uh, this is a 65,000 square foot building. Uh, but we make all types of shelters, square modular, um, uh, round, culvert, uh, watertight round, like uh, big giant pressure tanks. But these are, uh, this is a big giant 70 foot long modular bunker. It's a 12 by 48 foot body. It's uh, 11 feet, four inches tall. This is a generator pod with a decontamination room. That'll be the stairwell. Then on this side of the factory here, uh, we make the culvert shelters. This one's going to go out on Monday. This has a generator pod. It's gonna have a diesel generator inside there. Uh, this is a 12 by 48 that's called the big boy. Um, and over here we've got like eight more of these culvert bunkers being built. But anyway, thought you enjoyed just getting a quick tour of my factory. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Now, every single bunker I make is not always a doomsday bunker. In the video you're about to see, what the customer did is they bought the 10 foot by 20 foot safe cellar and they're gonna put it under their new house and they're gonna use it as a wine cellar. So this particular bunker, although it does have a couple air pipes, it doesn't have the NBC air filtration system in it. So you guys who are thinking about, I wanna do a house with a cool room, putting in one of my safe cellars and using it as a wine cellar, a gun room, or just a place for storage, or just a panic room, they make a great, they're a great addition to any house. So it's not always about doomsday and it's not always about uh, the end of the world. So this is a fun little video. So what this video is about, we took the shelter and we delivered it to a house not too far from our factory. And the first crane wouldn't pick it up. So we had to call in a big old crane to pick this up and set it. But at the end of the video, I do give you a tour of this bunker and it's very, very nice inside. I think you'll be impressed. So if you're curious, this bunker costs $50,000. Like I said, it's eight feet wide, 20 feet long, has eight foot ceilings. It's got a big fancy gun vault door in it and a beautiful, nice 35 degree staircase going down into it. And after they're done, what they do is they put it below the house and it's gonna have two foot of concrete on top of it. So it will be poured into the slab. So guys, I hope you enjoy the video of the Atlas 10 by 20 safe cellar. I'll see you at the end. <music> It's gonna tilt big time to the towards the back. So what we did, we had about three, four feet of strap to the back. And that's what you see in that red there. Because it's gonna get off level otherwise. Oh, it's up, isn't it? There we go. That that worked. That kept it kind of level too.
That is maxing out that truck right there. Here comes the cavalry. That's pretty cool. Looking good. You can swing the back end around once you get that front touching. Just get it on it on the tip, then he can move this left to right over here. That's it. Come on down. Come on down. You good? Take it 
That took a whole four minutes to set. See what Atlas does that the other people don't. We put a concrete slab down there first. So the shelter doesn't settle. It costs more money, but you gotta do it right. better to have the slab too big than not big enough so all this concrete will serve as ballast as well you've got to put a concrete foundation first and set it on top of the foundation then we bolt it down then you can do a crushed rock on the sides or we can build walls out and you can do a, a concrete fill on the sides. But this is gonna have two foot of concrete over the roof and then a four and a half to five inch slab on the house. But this is the 10 foot by 20 foot safe cellar from Atlas Survival Shelters. And this will be, come up under the house here. You'll just walk into it like a regular staircase under the house. Now this one here has a vault door on it, so it's got a real pretty vault door. Then the inside will be built out like a wine cellar or a gun room or whatever you want. This particular one's gonna be built out like a wine cellar. Like I said, it's 10 feet wide, 20 feet long with eight foot ceilings. build your house on top of this now. That's it. So we had to get a 90 ton crane in here to set this, but usually a 60 ton crane will do it. But that's it. And then build your house and have some fun. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed another one of my YouTube videos. Guys, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, and I really, really hope you are because I cover everything from guns to bomb shelters to just the, the news that's going on in the bunker industry. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Share this video if you found it interesting. Hit that little bell that lets you know when my videos come in. And don't forget to do that because you don't want to miss any of my videos. But guys, as always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.